Good morning. This is April the 19th, Friday, 2024. And this is the fourth class of the semester. We are in BBIS second semester compulsory class. And our course moving is very slow. But I said, because I'm moving very slow, you should read part of the course yourself. I might not be able to complete the courses completely. Last year, I was in the first semester. I was in the first semester. So, I was in the very class. So, I making connection with the three people in the class. I was in the first semester. I was in the first semester. Okay. So, I was in paragraph 9, right? Where I talked about the midday, the physical awakening. Physical awakening versus another awakening. That another awakening may be spiritual, I don't know. So, I'll move faster now. Here he talks about his age. And he says that in the paper, I'm 24, I'm a graduate. But in reality, I'm a kid. He says that, though, by document, by document, I'm 24. Why, why this is not our class? I don't know how this is getting here, I don't know. He says that, I feel a kid. Why? He says, I haven't smoked a cigarette yet. I haven't had a girlfriend. I haven't tried drug. Right? So, I haven't become a rebellion. I haven't broken a law. So, I'm, I'm, I'm a kid. He says you become mature when you do this, when you have the experience of the world, when you go for the temptations and excitement. Temptation and excitement. When you fall in love, when you drink, when you smoke. I smoked when I was in class two. <laughs> because I saw somebody smoking. I was going to my school, primary school. And I saw a tall person asking for a cigarette. I took five paisa and I asked the uncle in the gumti shop, wooden shop. I'm coming cigarette this And I am surprised that the guy gave me a cigarette. I don't remember if I smoked. But I clearly remember buying the cigarette. It was Panama brand. And the year was 1974, I guess. I was five years old. I did that because I saw somebody doing that. And I thought it's a good thing to do because that big uncle is doing it. And I fell in love for the first time in class, class second time, in seven. First time, I fell in love when I was in class two. I fell in love with the girl in my neighborhood who used to come to in my compound to play. I felt a kind of liking. I clearly understood I like this girl. Right? But I don't understand. I liked. So here he says that you become mature when you fall in love. You become mature when you break the law. You become mature when you share excitement and temptation. Right? I'm not mature, right? Okay. Then he says, I've, I've never been with a girl. Right? <laughs> so I'm not mature. I'm a kid. <coughs> okay. I intended to now hear what he says. <coughs> okay. Like my friends, I wanted to be successful. This is important. This is the awakening. Have you had the desire to be successful? I don't know. And I forgot to tell you the, 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 this thing. Let me, let me use that. Sound recorder, right? I simply forgot. Uh, just a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. The quality of the sound is not so good without this device. You are happy when you don't have to do anything in the class, right? You are very happy when Divakasa does most of the things, right? 
If Divakar saw teachers, he will understand, you won't. <laughs> There is no doubt. The most effective way to understand something is to explain and teach it to somebody. And you understand. Okay, here we go. So if I have highlighted, you can mark it. Like all my friends, I wanted to be successful. You grow only when you have this flicker of fire in mind. Flicker. Flicker is when you strike the matchstick. What happens is flicker. <coughs> when you when you strike the stick like this, you see when you have flint. Plenty of stone. When you hit two stones, you have what do you call spark. Spark. If you don't have a spark, you are dead. Sanskrit you know very much. You are dead. You have no spark. That is spark. I want to be successful. Right? But I didn't know what success meant. Money now. The world taught him. The world taught him that being successful means earning a lot of money. Having a good wife, kids, house. He says, no. I, I didn't agree. For me, wife, all these were not successful. For me, successful was having a meaningful time in life. I wanted to make my life meaningful. I wanted to make my life meaningful. And what do you mean by this? How your life becomes meaningful? Your life becomes meaningful when you are able to leave a mark on the world. This guy is a, an athlete. I'll, I'll give you an example. I don't know much about him, but I know something that he... Well, what game do you play? Karate. And I sometimes see a Facebook post by the college that he has won trophies and achievements. So, so if you take an example, his life is meaningful. In what sense? Because he is doing something which will set an example to others. What's meaningful? Your life should set an example for other people to follow. Then you become meaningful. See? And he wanted to make his life an example for other people. Right? He wanted his life to be different, purposeful. Creative, meaningful. Look, for him, he uses four adjectives. Meaningful life, purposeful life, creative life, different. Ask yourself, are you different from other people in the society? If not, you are dead. Breathing doesn't make you alive. What makes you alive is being different. Okay. Then he says, I wanted to make a mark on the world. Say, leave a mark on the world. Einstein left a mark on the world. Gandhi left a mark on the world. Christ left a mark on the world. Newton left a mark on the world. We, we read about that. The world talks about that. He wanted to be like that. Then, okay, he says that. I wanted to take my life as a play, as a game. I wanted to make my life as a play. What happens with the play? You enjoy. If you treat something as a play, you take it lightly. Don't, don't express yourself too much. Play is fun. He wanted his life to be full of fun. Right? Then he says that, Okay, it is like the essence of beauty or truth or all we ever need to know of either lay somewhere in that moment. What is that moment? Play. When the ball is in the, leave that. He, he come, because the narrator was an athlete. My spelling is doubtful. He was a player, he was an athlete. 
And as an athlete, you always encounter a moment, few seconds, when it is decided whether you win or lose. That kick, if I talk like him, that decides whether I win or lose. Right? He says, I wanted to experience that moment. And when he is in the meeting, in the conference room, at the end of the story, I mean, end of the course here, he is in the conference room. And Miyazaki asks him, Mr. Knight, what's your company? He has no company. Within seconds, he says, my company is Blue River. He plays, he plays. He has no company. When he says, my company is Blue River, he has no company. But he plays. He says, my company is Blue River. Right? That's what play is. Okay, look. I wanted to be a great novelist. Great journalist, great statesman, but ultimately my dream was to become a great athlete. Right? Okay. <coughs> then, so then he says that okay. he says that the world was full of war. Okay. The world is full of war, pain, misery, daily troubles, right? But he says that in your life, you must get an impossible dream. Get an impossible dream, improbable dream, and chase the dream. You are business students, and they have chosen a very good course, I mean, good text for business. So, the seed if there is no seed, there is no tree. The tree begins with the seed, the banyan tree. The banyan tree is so big, it can save thousand people. But it begins with the tiny seed. Right? So that seed, that dream, have that dream. This afternoon, ask yourself, what's my dream in life? And write down in one word. You stick on the wall of your study room, bedroom. Every morning ask yourself, what am I doing to get that dream? Right? Purpose. Okay. Then, once you have the dream, what you should do? Change it. Change your dream. I'm a kid. 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 I'm a Sorry. <laughs> be single-minded. Be dedicated to your dream. Follow your dream. And then he says that he had his dream. What was that dream? Crazy idea. What was the crazy idea? In high school, he wrote a top paper for his teacher. A research paper. In that research paper, he talked about establishing a shoe company in high school. And he says, that was my dream. I wanted to chase that dream. Look, so when I was in class 10, I was chase that class 10. I was in 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 class 10. And he changed his dream. Okay. So he's running. Look, this is. He is running. And while running, he is thinking. He is reflecting while running. He is reflecting. He says that my dream was like someone. My, I, I imagined my dream is a person. And I was changing my dream as if I was changing somebody. My class is not perfect. Our 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 class is not perfect. I can take the body maximum. Our class is not perfect. Our class is not perfect. Bagaimana? 
सगे जान खोजते सगे भी हिड़न मिलते थे संगे एक खिलाकर हिड़े भाई सोसाइटी कुरा गए क्योंकि तेरा सब सब चिंते तो सोसाइटी में मैं मेरे बार चिंते उसको बार चिंते सब चिंते सब सब चिंते अभी खिला के संग हिड़े भाई कुरा गए हम क्या हिड़ो अटी अगड़ी हिड़ा चाहिए पछाड़ी बीस फीट तीस पछाड़ी अल छिटे हिड़ने अटल क्रस करने सुसु कहीं बोलने उल उत्तर दिने क्योंकि यदि साई हो बोलते बोलते अभी अगड़ी भाई फिर स्लो भ्रस कर आपूला फिर कहीं भाई हमें ट्वेंटी टाइम क्रस कर ट्वेंटी कुछ भाई भाज को इक्जापल के बुझा थे इमेजिन योर ड्रीम इज अ पर्सन एंड योर चेजिंग इमेजिन योर ड्रीम इज अ पर्सन एंड योर चेजिंग राइट I give a funny example from my experience so that you will remember this story. When I, when we, when we connect real stories with class, you remember. Oh, sorry, Katha, one more class. I didn't remember. Okay. <coughs> so your dream should change you, right? Okay. So he says that I was smiling, laughing, crazy idea. Right, he talks about the crazy idea. Okay. <clears throat> so my idea looked like a place, looked like a person. My idea became my life force. Look, my crazy idea became my life force. What is life force? Oxygen. Your dream should be your oxygen. Well, I'm going to show you. कि मुंडेश पर से कि भाई मुंडेश पर से को भाई मैं लाइफ में क्यों नहीं रहा सर क्या करते हैं मास्टर सर आगे ब्याह करते हैं इंसान समय आते हैं चला मैं चली मेरी बाहर वाली बात नहीं पहले करते थे नहीं बाहर वाली बात नहीं था नहीं पर बाहर उनसे डोंट थिंक दिस वे डू नॉट थिंक दिस वे आस्क योरसेल्फ व्हाट आई वु ये फाइबर्स मैं यहाँ हूँ सु। अगर मैं नहीं पढ़ूँ तेरे पास अब पसंद है। जाओ मेरे क्या मचे? एमबीए कर रहे हैं। क्या बात? बिजनेस एनालिटिक्स में। तो इस बार भी बना रहे हैं। लेकिन इसमें मैं कौन सा कुछ है? यहाँ पढ़ो तेरे वहाँ पे इसे। That's the dream। अतिरिक्त यहाँ अमेरिका का फेमस इंडस्ट्री Yeah, I mean, I suppose we can do it. So, what about that? Yeah, what about that? That should be secondary. That should be BBM, that's like, this like, what about that? BBM, that's like, what about that? That's like, what about that? That's like, what about that? Kitchen, what about that? Crazy. Sorry. So, your dream should be your life first. It should drive your life. It should change you. Right? Okay. <clears throat> okay. He talks about this Eureka moment. What do you mean by Eureka moment? Kyo Eureka moment? Kyo Eureka moment? Kyo Eureka moment? Okay, I'll tell a story in Nepali. I might speak mixed Nepali and English born. In Italy, I, I, I am not sure. In Italy, Italy, long ago, there was a king. And the king got a new crown made by his goldsmith. The royal goldsmith made a gold crown for the king. Beautiful crown. And the, the crown was given to king. He put it on his head. Very beautiful crown. But the king had a doubt that the goldsmith had adulterated the gold. He had mixed some impure <coughs> element in a gold. Now the king wanted to know, make sure, whether the gold in the crown is pure or mixed. Because the king had given the goldsmith pure gold. And he had a doubt that he might have mixed low quality things. So, but the king also did not want to destroy the crown because it was very beautiful. So he called his, his scholars in the palace 
is what you call darbari i don't know the english word for that Co courtesans i don't know the english word for that people who is court he called i need a meeting and he said to his scholars every king in the old time you know they used to have a committee of his scholar, scholarly people he said that this is my crown and i think it there is a mixture so he called one archimedes there was an archimedes in the scholar meeting committee archimedes you are a scientist so you tell me whether the gold in this crown is pure or impure and i give you two weeks time and if you cannot tell i will behead you he said i will behead you and in those days when kings said something they said there was a rule so archimedes went home and told his wife darling please make best food why because i only 15 days to live now i must enjoy life and one day passed two day passed archimedes was thinking he could not get a solution what to do how to find out whether the gold is pure or not without destroying the uh, crown itself so 15 days passed no not 15 yes 15 the day came and he was sure that tomorrow the king will be here me and on the 15th day archimedes thought i know i'm going to die i must go to my he went to public bath bath public bath in italy those days there were public baths in every public place or public bathroom he went to public bathroom there were bath tub he filled the bath tub first of all he thought it's my last day of life i should enjoy and he filled the bath tub full and then he filled the bath tub let's say with water and then he got into the water he stepped into the water as he stepped into the water he saw that some water spilled over as he got into the water some water spilled over and then he was totally naked because when he go to bathroom chances are you completely naked you he had not even underwear completely naked and he as he got in the bathroom the eureka moment happened eureka in italian word i think i guess means i found i found eureka means i discovered and i found i found so naked he ran to royal palace i found eureka 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 because he knew that now he would be killed naked he went he ran he ran to the market and everybody thought oh archimedes out of his mind because he going to be killed tomorrow whole as when he want to whole as people thought people thought he is mad but he eureka eureka completely the agreement to for alice he was shocked and then he said lord now i can tell you whether your crown is pure or not how then he said okay lord his plan was okay i hear here is plan now he asked he said give me pure gold of same weight same weight pure gold and he said i will go to the same gold smith and he will make me no i will uh, no pure gold of same weight he weighed he weighed the crown then he had same weight pure gold and he filled he filled the pot full of water and he dipped the crown first and the displaced water he collected in his jar then he filled same weight of gold collected displaced water and found that the volume of water displaced by the crown and the volume of water displaced by the the gold was same and he proved scientifically with experiment that your the crown gold is pure because if there was mixture the volume of water will be different this is called this is called archimedes ka utplavan ka siddhant i read this in class 4 I read this in class four. Again in class nine. I don't know what you call it in English. What do you call it? Utpavan in English? Oh, the principle of upthrust. The principle of upthrust. When you get into the water, the water has upthrust. That is the principle used to design ships. Ships. How big ship to make so that it keeps afloat. That's art. That he says. Eureka moment! Oh, sorry, I took a long time. That's what is 
Eureka moment. And why does he call this? He says, I found, I found, I found. What did I find? I found the crazy idea, the following life. <laughs> so stop. You see, what's your Eureka moment? What's your Eureka moment? You're hey, coming class? Bring for a paper. By writing. I want to read. This is my little moment. But I had the crazy idea that I want to choose my life. Look how beautiful the story. The story inspires you to have a Eureka moment. What is Eureka moment? The moment when there is awakening. When there is Awakening, a spiritual awakening. You know now, my life will follow this dream. I had this Eureka moment in May 20, 1987. Listen to my Eureka moment. I had my Eureka moment in 1987. That was the last day of grade 12. And according to our school tradition, on the last day, our principal used to call the outgoing batch in the hall and will sit in a file, you, fi you share file, the principal will stand at the front and he will give us last lecture of the school, last lecture. From that day we won't come back to class. And I remember, he spoke so many things, I forgot. What I remember is, he said, they call or go. I remember, still I remember. Agar to me, जिंदगी में कोई चीज समझ में ना आए तुम्हें कोई चीज समझ में ना आए जिंदगी में तो क्या करना तुम किसी को बुलाना भाई को बहन को मित्र को अंकल को दादा दादी को और उनको जो चीज तुम्हें समझ में नहीं आ रही है वही चीज समझाने की कोशिश करना अगर तुम उनको समझा सके तो तुमको भी समझ में आ जाएगी अगर तुम्हें कुछ नहीं आता है तो किसी को पढ़ाओ क्योंकि पढ़ाना ही किसी भी चीज को समझने का सबसे अच्छा उपाय है द प्रिंसिपल से देवेंद्र प्रताप श्रीवास्तव देवेंद्र प्रताप एंड आई वेट हो आई स्टार्ट थिंकिंग नेक्स्ट डे द मिल्क मैन केम टू माई होम मिल्क मैन आई चाचा जी चाचा जी हाँ आपका बेटा किसका से पढ़ता है आई वॉज पासिंग ग्रेट ट्वेल्व ये सर अभी क्लास इलेवन में गया है आई सर उसको कल से हमारे यहाँ भेज दीजिए हम उसको पढ़ा देंगे क्या पढ़ाएंगे अंग्रेजी पढ़ा देंगे इन दो डेज इंग्लिश वॉज वेरी वैल्यूएबल सब्जेक्ट ये सर हम तो गरीब हैं पैसा कितना लेंगे आई सर एक पैसा नहीं लेंगे भेजिए उसको फ्री में पढ़ाएंगे एंड द नेक्स्ट डे ए सन के मैं हूं आई स्टार्टेड टीचिंग इन ग्राम एंड आई रियलाइज आई शुड चेंज द ड्रीम ऑफ बींग टीचर दैट वॉज माई यूरे कर आई न्यू वेरी वेल बट नाउ आई विल बिकम अ टीचर बिकॉज दैट क्रेजी आइडिया आई हैव सो टू मोर इन क्लास नेक्स्ट टाइम यू ब्रिंग योर स्टोरी Where you tell what's the crazy idea and how you got the crazy idea? Your memoir, your memoir. Where you describe your crazy idea? And if you have no crazy idea, if you have no crazy idea, if you have no dream in life, if you have no dream moment, you are dead people. You are dead people. Breathing doesn't make you alive. What makes you alive? A dream that you want to chase. That makes you alive. Breathing doesn't make you alive. Even snails breathe, dogs breathe, cats breathe, mice breathe. What is the difference between you and the mice and the dog and the cat? Is there a difference? No. Yeah, I'm surprised. She closed the door. Look my energy. I'm sick. I look my energy. Look my dedication. I'm sick. I have fever. As I speak, I have fever. I'm suffering of a common cold. Because I'm dedicated to my job. Because that's my dream. Take your job as a play. Take your job as a play. 
Teaching is a playful, and I enjoy it. Alright? So, what's that you enjoy? What's that you enjoy? Okay. I spent quite a long time talking about it in a moment. That was important. Okay. So look what he says. My many Eureka moments into one. Right? Okay. <coughs> now next paragraph. Look, at 24, I did have a crazy idea. Right? I was unsure about the future. I had life's difficulties. I had doubts about myself. Right? I thought that life is not certain. But I did decide that the world is made up of crazy ideas. So the idea of crazy idea is very important in this novel. Crazy idea is the theme of this, these 35 pages. In these 35 pages, the central theme is crazy idea. The idea to establish a shoe company of his own. Right? And I'm inspiring you to have a crazy idea. Decide. ตัวนี้อุ้มในสปอนเซอร์บิสปอนเซอร์อุ้มได้เป็นไลฟ์มาเกี่ยวนิวเชื่อมันแล้วตัวนี้ดีลด้วยเลยไม่ดีลด้ว
He was presenting on this lesson last time and he was wearing Nike dress. And he said, Divakas, I tried to impersonate. And look, I'm wearing all Nike thing today. Nike trousers, Nike jacket, Nike shoes. Okay. So history is a process of the idea, right? Look, every great thing starts as great idea. Okay. Okay. So what was his favorite thing? Running. And running is painful, running is hard, running is risky. Right? There are no rewards. Right? There is no guarantee that you will succeed. Right? Okay. Then he says that every runner knows that there is uncertainty. Every runner knows that there is uncertainty. Right? You run. Run mile after mile. And you never know why you are running. Right? You are running towards some goal. He says that, set a goal and keep moving towards your goal until you achieve it. And don't worry what other people say. Don't worry what other people say. Set a goal and move towards it. Okay. Let people call your idea is crazy, but look the mantra. Just keep going. Don't stop. Don't even think about stopping until you get there. Those who are present in dialogue, when you look about dialogue, you should copy some dialogue. These are important lines that inspire. So very important lines. Then, okay. He says, that was the advice I gave to myself. That was the advice I gave to myself when? When I was 24. That was the advice I took and gave. Half a century later, I believe it's the best advice. Look, he was 24 when he had a crazy idea. And he says that it's 50 years. Half a century means? 50? So we guess, as he is speaking these lines, he is in his mid-70s. This is how you calculate time frame in this story. The narrator is in his 70s and is remembering his life. And when he writes this, he is the founder of a company. He has a big company, world famous company. Okay. Now we move to second part, or it is part one. There was a prologue, the first dawn was a prologue. And remember, the word dawn is very important. Let me spend few minutes about dawn, talking about dawn. Dawn means early morning. And if you remember, the last sentence of the first paragraph, the last sentence of the first paragraph, the last sentence of the first paragraph is Second paragraph Why is it always so hard to get started? Second paragraph, last sentence He says Why is it always so hard Get started. So dawn here means starting of something, beginning of something. What is that something? That something is the beginning of life's journey. And when did he feel that his life is having a new journey? On a sudden morning in the year 1962. Because he says, on a momentous morning, 1962, he says, momentous. What does momentous mean? If you say, this is a momentous action, you mean 
this action has brought a change. Momentous means important. He says that morning, when I was when I had this dream, there was a morning when, when everything changed. I had physical awakening. Right? Okay. 1962, in, in the first section, in the first section, he said, on a certain momentous morning in 1962, I had my awakening. In the previous section. And here, he makes 1962 as a title. Why did he decide to make 1962 as a title? Because this was the year that was a turning point in his life. So when you bring a memoir, right? Which years or year were turning point in your life? Better like 1990 was a turning point. Kasari? Ek din March March April. Exactly same. Got it? ก็สิบวันพอพี่เสกนะทอดิปอดเลยคลาสที่ว่าเนี่ยเป็นมาเป็นจอดเนี่ยดีๆเราจะทําที่นี่ครับพอเลยเราจะเห็นดูแลงาน
Max Schuster this idea. I want to go around the world. He thought that while a shoe company calls him whenever the dead ass wants him. He said, I want to go around the world. And then he says, 10 years, I'll also go to Japan. And grandmother says, Japan, Japs, you forgot? Japs drop the bomb on Paul Hamburg, they will kill you. Then he takes his classmate, Carter, and his friend. He and Carter go to go around the world. They land in Honolulu, Hawaii. Carter falls in love with the girl. And then he gets a job of selling in Encyclopedia to earn some money. He spends some time. Then he remembers his goal. He says, no, I should spend time here. I should leave. Then he buys a ticket for Japan. His friend says, no, I'm in love with this girl, I will stay here. So because his friend Carl is in love with a girl, a white girl with black, brown legs and black eyes, he stays there. And he leaves. He comes to Japan, and then he has, he gets, he visits the factory, he has a meeting, he tells his idea, and they think he's, he has already a company. They say, what's your company? All of a sudden, this is my company, do you he, he makes his, he makes a, uh, contact his father, he says, Daddy, please send $50. My first order, import. First import, he makes shoes from Japan to America. And that's how second section ends. The story ends now, of course. I finished the whole story. I didn't take you through the lines because I thought it would take longer time. Now, in coming class, in coming class, the presenters will present and every presenter will get 10 minute time how long? 10 minutes and you will come with a powerpoint presentation the presenters will come with what presentation? powerpoint presentation you will not write over there, I saw that it takes time you will bring slides of what you want to say you will display the slides and you will explain and within one class, 16 minutes we will finish all 6 presenters and if you cross 10 minutes you won't, you won't allow you to continue. You have to stop. And that will affect your evaluation. So do a rehearsal at home. At home, before a mirror, make a presentation, finish in 10 minutes, and present the body. Okay? Any questions? Thank you. Thank you.